Hello all, I'm uh, Lies, crew at the chatotalism.org Hackbase, and I'm presenting to you today from Fuerteventura, Canary Islands, Spain, where the Hackbase currently is located. Um, soon, however, we will be heading to your city for a three-month residency at Kunsthal Ghent. And so thank you a lot, uh, Hackerspace Ghent, for this great opportunity to present ourselves and our plans for coming months. We hope to see you around. Um, the presentation will be separated in two parts. First, I will briefly introduce Hackbase and also give a short history of the chgtotalism.org Hackbase. Then I will talk about our plans for the public program at Kunsthal Ghent. So to start, what are Hackbases? Hackbases are hackerspaces with a capacity for co-living, or short, living hackerspaces. There's a couple of basics that define this. Um, for instance, hackbases should be publicly accessible, crews um, uh, support their own uh, live costs, um, they enable hacker residencies and exchanges, etc. Um, CHT um, is on the list of uh, self-identified hackbases because uh, it was established in 2011 as a first hackbase. Um, so a bit more information about CHT. Um, the base hosts ad hoc crew, crews, and um, these crews use common owned equipment and coordinate by consensus established protocols. A crew work, um, works to curate, develop, document, and practice the transitional tactics, technologies, theory, and arts towards ending um, capitalism. So how does that work? What do we do? The project and its crew um, install nature infrastructural situations. This means camps um, with textile architecture, solar energy, lab equipment, bikes for expeditions, etc. But also their broader social and natural context and dynamics. Um, for instance, the use of um, uh, protocols, uh, systemic lists, systematic lists, and so on. Um, the research and its outcomes are collaboratively published on the homegrown hypermedia platform E2H that allows for co-written etherpads to be transformed to hypermedia documents. The idea is that the documents allow for replicability. Um, in this sense, the base is a primer of a new institutional type, a prototype rather uh, than a final destination. Mm. I will now shortly give a timeline give you some idea of how the base evaluated throughout the past 10 years. Between 2011 and 2014, the Hague base was located in a shared house in Lanzarote. During this time, it collaboratively documented itself as a so-called Type 1 Hague base, a liquid shared, rented or owned house, including a house manual, a financial model and an architectural manifesto. There were many other um, documents published um, on the website. In this time, also, the project assembled an initial commons of equipment. Um, this equipment was then taken into its next iteration as a Type 2 base in 2014. Type 2 bases um, are so-called nomadic resilient bases or off-grid operations. Why going off-grid? Going off-grid seemed and also turned out to be more challenging, both on an organizational as on an infrastructure level, but also it made the hack base more scalable, replicable, equal and cheaper. Ultimately, it was uh, more transformative and inclusive. So then in 2016, the project acquired a large transporter and built it into a mobile living unit, a media lab, cinema, bio lab, and so on. This uh, shape-shifted CHT into a Type 4 base called Harbors and Mobility, which is a hack base model of ships, fans, buses and so on, and harbors, places where they can meet, stay, be stored, and etc. Um, in 2020, the now mobile hack lab moved to the island of Fuerteventura, which is partially uh, due to COVID still our current location. And then to end this history overview with a quote, as of 2021, CHT is an expense of thousands of interlinked pieces of living written, intermedia and sensor documentation, software specs and code, and infrastructure equipment held together as a multifaceted hypermedia resource. 
uh, sorry, resource uh, compendium and affiliated with a growing number of fellow travelers. Um, also in 2021, the chctotalism.org Hackbase, and so Hackbases in general, will celebrate the 10th anniversary of operations. The residency at Kunsthalle Ghent marks this anniversary, and we will use the time to establish a retrospective overview of the produced and collected materials and a prospective outlining of the near and far possibilities of the project. Entitled uh, Kunsthalle Hackbase, um, CHT will inhabit the art institution for three months. And we will be there from October 1st till December 31st. And yeah, of course, the city is quite a shift uh, in comparison with the um, desert context we're used to. So uh, in this concrete time, CHT is looking forward to have access to a far extended public and to material and expert resources. Um, so our plan is to have a big people-driven program and to implement a series of labs, excursions, happenings and exhibitions, um, but also to apply our participatory practices and um, um, showcase collected archival uh, materials and so on. Um, so yeah, I would like to shortly list um, a selection of the program, which I thought could be of specific interest to you, the Ideas and Hacker community. Um, so yeah, let's start with the uh, Kunsthal Hackbase, um, which refers to the permanent inhabitation of the institution and for which we also have an uh, ongoing open call for crew to join the project. The inhabitation um, will be an infrastructure and process demo and you are very much uh, invited to uh, announce yourself for um, as crew of the base. Um, then there is the CHE base coordinates, which is basically the vernissage, the public introduction of the program. Um, it will take place October 15th and will uh, showcase a short talk, a discussion and an exhibition. And there will also be some food and drinks. So again, would be great to meet you there. Um, as part of the inhabitation pattern, we also organize a totalist canteen. Um, which deploys CHT supply and chef protocols and serves um, food to uh, the crew, lab fellow travelers and the Kunsthal. Then, because a hack base is also a hacker space, we will be gathering a lab. The idea is to assemble a hack lab instance by contacting adjacent spaces and collect their tool and material surplus. To, um, and to procure the rest from uh, best possible sources. The equipment will be used and deployed amongst a network of kindred collectives. Um, then there is Padland, the public instance of our powerful collaboration tool. And in this lab, we will explain the system, um, build up competence, but also evaluate and continue to refine the tool based on user experience. Um, next, there is Art Text of Rinity Lab. Uh, which will be a hands-on introduction to non-proprietary, self-hosted and de-hosted end-to-end platforms and network uh, workflows. Um, and specific considerations here will go to artistic work, its real needs and seeking solutions to address them. Um, furthermore, we will be organizing many excursions to adjacent spaces, um, which hold space for interviews, guided tours, workshops, but also will inform uh, the labs. Um, there is the Space Manual Lab, which basically will be also a, a bring your own manual event to present, discuss, collect and hybridize. Um, we will assemble a manual archive, discuss a manual kit and try to intertextual pastiche, uh, try out an intertextual pastiche technique. Um, then there is the uh, Prepared Hackathon, which will take place in December and will be a full day of uh, a night of uh, hacking at the uh, Kunsthal. Um, so of course also very welcome uh, for this. Um, and yeah, that's about it for the selected program. Uh, there is more, more details and more program, which you can find on totalism.org slash at program. And if you like to reach out to us to participate in one of the events or be crew, or maybe you have other ideas, uh, you can contact us via info at totalism.org or of course, just knock our door when we are on site. 
Um, so yeah, hope to see you around and uh, for now, cheers from the Furtiventura base.